If you are a Nearpod user, you can quickly and easily add Nearpod lessons that you have saved in your library directly into your Schoology course. Your district Nearpod account will integrate directly into Schoology using your Office 365 username and password. Through your Schoology course, you will be able to launch both live lessons in real time to run through with your students or assign student paced lessons that they might be able to use for independent work, homework, or review sessions. You will be able to access your Nearpod account in Schoology through the app that is shown on the left column of your course. So once you click on that tile, it's going to open up your Nearpod account where you will be able to search through any lessons that you might have. If you are prompted to log in to Nearpod, you are going to use your Office 365 username and password. You will be able to see your user information by clicking on the profile picture here and it will give you your account. From here, you're going to be able to see any lessons that you have saved in your library and you'll also be able to search for lessons in the Nearpod library itself. So you'd be able to come in here and you would be able to edit any of these lessons like you would normally do if you went to nearpod.com. When you are ready to launch a lesson using Nearpod and Schoology, there's going to be two different ways for you to do this. When you are looking in your library, you'll notice the first way that if you hover over one of these lessons, you have the option to live participation for this lesson. So when I click on this, it's going to ask me to have a new live Nearpod presentation for my students, and it's going to open up a code that my students can use to be able to join this lesson. So if I wanted to use this method, I would give my students this code here. Now if I hop over to my student account, your students would be able to go to Nearpod on the left side of their screen, and they're going to be asked to put in the code to join this specific Nearpod live lesson. So when I paste in the code there and I hit that arrow, it's going to bring me into the place where I can now log in with my Office 365 credentials. I would click Accept in this pop-up window and it's going to pick up my student name and then I can hit Yes, Continue and wait for my teacher to launch this lesson. The other alternative to be able to work with Nearpod in Schoology is to assign this Nearpod lesson beforehand. So now I'm back in my teacher account and I'm in my Schoology course. I have the option to create this Nearpod lesson as a material to be able to easily access. So if I come up here to the Add Materials, I'm going to see Nearpod as an option. When I select Nearpod, it's going to open up a window that shows me all of the different activities that I have in my Nearpod library for me to select from. Once I've found that, I can hover over this and I can click on a live participation mode to give this to my students. And you're going to see that this put this in to Schoology as an activity for them to do. Once as the teacher, I come in here and click on this live lesson, it's going to automatically open up the lesson and my students are now not going to have to enter in any type of code. So if I come back here to my student account and we go into our Schoology course, I now as the student see that there's this live lesson waiting for me. Once I click on that live lesson, it's automatically going to open up without the need for me to put in that code. This is automatically picking up my name and all I need to do is click join lesson and watch these slides and participate in these slides as my teacher advances them. I'm going to hop back into my teacher account and I might decide that I want to leave an activity for my students to work on that is student paced or self paced. So I can come back up to the add materials option and I can select Nearpod again and it's going to bring me back to the same library of activities that I've already created. And once I find the activity that I want, I now hover over this and I can add this as a student paced assignment, meaning that the students are going to go through this at their own pace 
in the time frame that you ask them to do. If I come in here and I want to edit this, I can come in here and I can put in enable grading if I wanted that to be graded. I can put in a point value and I can select a due date so that the students would have to submit this in a specific time frame. Once I'm done with that, I can hit save changes. Now when the student is ready to go through this student paste option, they're going to come back into their Schoology course and they will see that this is their student paste option, which they can just click on to go through this lesson when they need to. Once again, there is no code for them to enter. It will automatically pick up their name and they can join this lesson and go through these slides at their own pace. <laughs>